you have to take risks risks are so important in evolution playing it safe yeah you can have an existence but you'll never be someone who's a trailblazer finding our own confidence no one is going to give that to you no one is going to tell you here's an opportunity go make something of yourself you're going to do it for you i just love growing like i said i think growing is a very important thing and when i was very young i started working when i was 17 years old you need to be responsible for your finances and be financially independent and that kind of really stuck with me i just love what i do and i'm good at it and i love the ability to wake up in the morning and say oh my god i get to go to work i mean how many people in their lifetimes do a job that they love doing most people do it for survival kitcha we need to feed our families we need to survive but to wake up with you know my my feet and my fingers tingling and say wow i have this to do i have that to do today and it's an amazing feeling and i don't take it for granted i'm a high achiever i've always been a high achiever i'm someone who is goal oriented i i like challenges i like growth i like evolution i like knowledge so when you put all of those things combined i have a lot more i want to do I've had multiple things that haven't worked out in my life. I mean, I, I I just don't talk about them. I'm not someone who rests on my failures. I believe that they are a natural part of life and failure will happen to every single person and what you do after failure that makes you the person that you will become. You know, I've always said that I'm ambitious and I I have that's my sense of purpose, is my drive, is my contribution to the arts. I, that's where I feel like I'll have most purpose, and you know, that's just my quest is always that to push the envelope. I don't really have regrets, but I have to say, I think um, my biggest achievement I feel is honestly the ability to get over my fears. I'm hugely emotional, and I get affected by a lot of things, and I, I know I come across as this tough, sassy, witty thing, and but I do think that is a big part of keeping myself protected. um and surviving i've always had to do it for myself there's not been anyone who's held a safety net for me in all the decisions that i've taken so i think my biggest achievement is to trust my feet to trust my legs to trust my instinct and say even if i fall it's okay it'll be my mistake there's only one you okay because there's no one like you and i don't mean the superfluous superficial parts I'm talking about the core of you, who you are inside, your values, your beliefs, your flaws. And once you understand who really that person is, you would have made taken the first step in finding your unique self, and that is the best version of you. Who am I really? Most often we don't allow ourselves the ability to dream beyond our imagination. We don't allow ourselves to think about the future because we are afraid of change. We are afraid to move away from what is familiar. either that or sometimes you know we are too rigid to let our dreams evolve Just loosen up you know shake it off a little bit change is the only constant thing in life and you are never too old or never too experienced to learn something new believe that you have everything already as your brahmastra in your will to be able to be and achieve your dreams be fearless funny thing ah huh? these opportunities they don't come very often they come far and few in between but when they do do we recognize them our job is to recognize them and make the most of them i look back on all the things that i've done and i marvel at the opportunities that came my way this ladies and gentlemen is called drive it's called ambition be greedy be greedy for your ambitions be hungry for it Don't live on someone else's benchmarks. I've always believed that you have to take risks, calculated, educated risks to evolve. Because if you've not truly explored the full extent of your possibilities, you'll always remain stagnant. Excellence is the pursuit of my life in anything that I do. My ambition gives me purpose, and I think purpose is very important in life. You have to have a sense of purpose. You, whatever that might be, it could be your children, it could be your family, it could be your career, it could be anything. I think people confuse discipline with like. 
punctuality sometimes but that's not what discipline is discipline is being prepared discipline is riyaz discipline is training discipline is um learning discipline is knowing that if i'm going to do a job i'm going to give it my 120% otherwise i'm not going to do it one mistake can cause a big big butterfly effect learn to be like water adaptable fit into any vessel have a sense of calm have a sense of patience but ambition is extremely important and i don't just say this to girls i say this to boys and girls just everyone who wants to be able to have a purpose in life have an ambition have the guts to find your glory more like the universe sort of guiding me towards these opportunities all i had to do was recognize them and make sure i worked so hard that i squeezed every drop out of these opportunities i think my purpose is the pursuit of excellence in anything that i do i don't like doing anything less than perfect i want them to say that i left behind a legacy um i want my kids to feel like you know proud to say that that's our mom I want people to say that I made a dent in my art in entertainment in my profession